paid to get Rasheed Wallace because Danny Ainge was not going to basically hand, because Melo would have been so good, you'd basically be handing a title to the Pistons, which he did anyway, but not knowingly back then. Also, and if that trade doesn't happen, you don't get, uh, you know, Lindsey Hunter and uh, Mike James and all that kind of stuff that, that took place as well. So I believe that if they would have drafted Carmelo Anthony, they would not have won the title in 2004. However, they might have won a couple of others and they would have been better for a longer period of time. But I don't I, I am not assured that they would have made the Rasheed Wallace trade, thus no championship in 2004, because without Rasheed Wallace, uh, they don't even get to the Eastern Conference Finals. 248 539 telephone number, ticket text is 97136. Uh, Piston fans, do you think they would have won multiple championships with Mello instead of Darko? I guess you have to refresh our our memories, Stoney. I, I, I didn't even think about Lindsey Hunter and Mike James, but what, why would they have not gotten those guys? Well, Lindsey Hunter they had, and then they lost, because part of the trade with Chucky Atkins, there was all this stuff that and they, they got Mike James from the Celtics in, in part of the deal, because the Pistons had to send players for salary cap reasons and things like that. So Mike James might not have been available, because they the, might the, not have made the Rasheed Wallace trade. The Rasheed Wallace trade... I guess I'd have to have my memory refreshed on that. The Pistons, when the deal was made, which was in what late April, early May, if memory. If when I'm, they made the deal, when they when they, when they made the Rasheed Wallace trade. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. No, March, it was March. Yeah, it was whatever, around the trading deadline. Um, they, why why they were still a, a top team in the Eastern Conference. I don't know if they were the number one overall team, but they were right up there in the Eastern Conference. So why would it have made any difference if Mello was there instead of Rasheed? Because they might. First of the other reason is the Pistons might not have wanted. To make that trade because they were they might have thought that they were good enough if Melo was was good that's number one okay number two the other aspect of this and I hate to say this because I you know I love the guy Carmelo Anthony and Larry Brown I don't know I don't know if that would have worked it might not have I, so we we don't know if you're gonna tell me but yes if you, could, you if, could have had Carmelo Anthony and put him on that team with Rasheed Wallace with everything else. Yeah, they would have. They definitely would have won that year. You would assume, and they probably would have won in two thousand five, and maybe some more. They lost in two thousand six in the conference finals to Miami. They lost in 07 to the conference finals to the Cavaliers, and they lost in oh eight in the conference finals to the Boston Celtics. I think they would have won. They would have won other championships. I don't necessarily know if they would have won two thousand four. Okay. Because I we mean, don't know. It's just well, that, of course we don't know, but that's what hypothetical sports debates are about. Right. I think if you go on the assumption, forget being about Mike James and Lindsey Hunter, if you have the main guys and you have Rasheed Wallace and Mello, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't have correct. won three or four. Yeah, now, here, I can't here, sit here and say they would have won five because the most consecutive championships I've seen in my lifetime is three. Correct. And anybody you talk to will tell you it is such a grind on the body. It's such a grind when you play all that extra basketball that it would eventually wear you down. Um, but another but, reason. I mean, think about the 07 series against Cleveland, right? That was LeBron's 48 special, right? Yeah. Melo's not letting that happen. Now, I know Melo's not a defensive stopper, but Melo would have gotten into a scoring battle with LeBron down the stretch. Probably. You would think that would work if, if, flip, if they would flip the switch. He, look, here's the other thing about Rashid, though, in, in the favor of Tayshon's claim. If they don't make the Rashid trade, and let's say they don't win 2000, 2004, they re sign Mehmet Okor, and he becomes, because he became an even better player, obviously, when he left the Pistons, so they could have won without Rashid. I don't think they would have won that year, though. Okay, so Stoney is agreeing with Tayshawn, but disagreeing with Tayshawn Prince. Also, he went on to say that that team, I assume he means that team with Carmelo, or does he mean that team without Carmelo? I, thought, I, don't, I don't know. know. Could beat the Warriors, the present-day Golden State Warriors. You agree with Rip that your Pistons team would beat these Warriors teams of the last couple of years? You know what, somebody asked me that. Of course I get that question asked a lot. I bet. And yeah. a lot of times I would always say it depends on what the rules are because mm -hmm. back when we played we could play hands-on physical and you know as you can see some of the pacer rivalries and all the rivalries we had back in the day we were scoring in the low high 70s low 80s we were physical so now if you play this style of play the way they running and gunning and touch fouls and things like that then all of a sudden we'll start getting in foul trouble because you know back when we played we were very very aggressive I, I have a hard time seeing that personally, but I, I think we always tend to react to the most recent thing we've seen. 
And if you're going to count Kevin Durant as the part of this current Warriors team, <laughs> then I don't I don't agree with that. No, but he's, he is right about the rule change. I, I'd love to hear what uh, Rip had to say about that, though, on whether they, they would uh, beat the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. This is a good one. I know, I know this next question is going to fire you up. Nathan wants to know. Your Pistons team against the Golden State Warriors, who would win in a seven-game series? Oh, we will, Nathan. Sorry to let you know that, brother. But we will. It would be no comparison. How would it go down? It would because the team. Because I guarantee you that Nathan's watching right now. Nathan, this is for you, buddy. Nathan's yeah. watching, and Nathan's thinking there's no way that that Pistons team could beat the Warriors. You know why? Because we can guard every position. Every guy from our, from our point guard all the way to our five can guard any position. And we were big. We were long. You got a guy like Tayshawn that's six nine with a wingspan of seven, what six? I don't know. Who would you <laughs> D up on this Warriors team? It, it, it depends. It, it just go, you know, how, it just, it, however the game is going, you know, and however the series is going to dictate who I would guard depending on what you, the situation. You, you agree Whoever with got that? hot, that's who he was guarding. Yeah. He didn't give him much good information there, as you think. No. And, and, and Ripple's not a great defender. It wasn't bad. But. And I'm not going to say it's a myth, but the Tayshawn defensive stopper, uh, legacy is greatly overplayed it was great early overplayed. in his career it was he not had a overplayed. decent series against tracy mcgrady that one year do you think that t- overall though the do you think the pistons left a title on the table oh absolutely in that era absolutely more than and one. they made two catastrophic decisions which one was more damaging drafting darko or not keeping lb uh, I'd say both. Not, not keeping LB. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, con- I'm convinced they would have won it in 2006 if there was harmony and Brown was the coach. Yeah. And there was, you know, not all the division within the franchise. Well, because they, there couldn't have been harmony, though, because uh, you're assuming that he's not even looking to go anywhere else because that kind of screwed them up a little bit. But, yeah, I think it, LB thing was the worst. Let's go to Naz and Troy on 97 won the ticket. What's up, Naz? Hey, guys. So about uh, drafting Melo over Darko. I mean, obviously, Melo's a great player, but that Pistons team is known for their defense. And, I mean, Melo is a very great defensive player. So I think it would have changed the entire dynamic of the team. And I don't know if, I mean, it's hard to predict these things, but I'm, I'm not sure we would have won that year or any of the following years. Well, you know, it's funny you say that, Naz. I don't know if anybody ever read Bill Simmons' Book of Basketball, but one of the, you know, he goes through some of the great what-ifs in basketball history, and one of them is the, the Darko pick and he argues the other way right i mean most people say oh how could you make that pick but he argues it was a good thing for the pistons because it did not throw off their chemistry and it did allow them to get rasheed wallace like stoney was talking about i mean they did win for all the people who want to undo history and whatever they did win the championship that year and there's no guarantees they're going to win multiple ones as much as Tayshawn or rip hamilton believe that they did get that one, and who knows if history would have been different had they drafted somebody else instead of Darko Milicic. I tend to think they would have, but you can't prove that, and that's why it's funny. It's hard. If you're going to sit there and say, obviously, maybe Wade, but I don't, I, for what the, that team became, they would have been better off drafting Chris Bosh. 248-539-9797. Ticket text 97136. Jamie Stoney, 97 won the ticket. Guys. 